March 2019, NordVPN, one of the top five VPNs, has a security breached by an unknown bad actor. NordVPN didn't reveal this information until seven months after the initial breach. February 2021, a hacker begins auctioning off the private information of over 20 million users of SuperVPN, GeckoVPN, and ChatVPN. June 2021, LimeVPN backup server is hacked, providing the hacker with usernames, emails, transactions, and other internal information. Hackers use this information to hold LimeVPN ransom. September 2021, ExpressVPN Chief Information Officer Daniel Garrick is revealed to have worked as a hacker for hire for United Arab Emirates company Dark Matter. He was found to have hacked U.S. citizens critical of the UAE regime. The company revealed that they were aware of this previous role, but did not find any fault in supporting him, and he remains on their payroll. VPNs, or virtual private networks, are designed so that you browse the web while keeping your data secure and hidden from third parties. With the rise of tech companies that repackage and resell user data for profit, these networks are becoming more commonplace. And yet, the most popular VPNs continue to violate their users' privacy. How, you ask? To understand the problems with VPNs, we have to understand how they work. When you view a website, your computer talks to the server storing that website's data by sending information over the open net. This server, called the host server, then sends this data to your computer. Along this path, your data is vulnerable. A hacker can connect and use your IP address to trace it back to your computer. Here, they can access passwords, bank accounts, or other items. In addition, when you send your information to the host, they often save and sell the information to advertisers so they can target you with specific advertising. A VPN adds an additional server to this path. Instead of connecting directly, your information passes through an external VPN server. The VPN server then encrypts the information before sending it to the website hosts. The host then sends the information back along the same encrypted path to the VPN which decrypts the information and returns it back to you. Simple, right? While this keeps location data and browsing history secure, there is one major point of weakness, the VPN itself. Because VPNs store their information on centralized servers, a hack can expose the personal data of millions of users. Many VPNs try to prevent this by hiding users' locations and browser history but hackers can still access their IP address and card details. And possibly the biggest problem with modern VPNs is that you are being asked to store all of your data, all of your files, all of your history. The use of this centralized server goes against the core ideal of a VPN. For true privacy, a VPN can't be centralized. That's where decentralized or de VPNs come in. Now let's imagine that same path. Whereas before there was one central point of attack for a hacker, now there is a web of possible servers, and the hacker has no way of knowing which path it will take. A company called Sentinel is already creating DVPNs such as these using blockchain. Their goal is to revolutionize the VPN industry, scaling their solution, and allowing users to access a truly free and open internet.